New Red Sox manager Bobby Valentine was hired in the offseason because team management thought it was time for a new voice in the clubhouse. That new voice is now under fire for comments made about Red Sox player Kevin Euclid. Valentine was answering a question about the third baseman's offensive struggles before Sunday's game against Tampa. Uke, as they call him, has been slowed by offseason injuries and was hitting only 200 with six hits after nine games. Valentine said, quote, I don't think he's as physically or emotionally into the game as he has been in the past for some reason. This didn't sit well with Euclid, who reportedly was surprised and confused by his manager's comments. His teammates didn't much like Bobby V's remarks either. Enter Dustin Pedroia. He said, quote, I really don't know what Bobby's trying to do. That's not the way we go about our stuff around here. End quote. Bobby V's take? He said that he was trying to defend Euclid, but it got misinterpreted. He said, quote, physical is about your swing. Emotional is not about being happy when he doesn't hit the ball off the wall. End quote. Valentine, who has a history of calling out his players in the media, met with Euclid on Monday and apologized. From open mouth insert foot to the agony of the foot. Confused? I'll explain. The University of Alabama's BCS Crystal football trophy was shattered Saturday when it was accidentally knocked off its podium by a player's father. The parent reportedly got his foot caught on the rug that sat beneath the trophy display, thus causing the incident. A university spokesman confirmed that they will immediately begin the process of replacing the trophy. The football, which is made of Waterford Crystal, was handmade in Ireland and is valued at $30,000. Not the first time this has happened. Florida had its trophy shattered by a recruit in 2008 who fumbled the ball, so to speak. And Florida State had a pair of trophies stolen from a glass case just outside then-head coach Bobby Bowden's office. I'm Alex Merlo, and that's a quick look at This Week in Sports.